What if I tell you that there are apps on your Android phone it's better to delete right now? Unfortunately, not all Google Play apps are good for your phone. Some are just useless and waste your phone's resources, but some can share your personal information, collect data, and even be dangerous. So I guess this episode might be interesting not only for those who use Android to film videos and photos, but for all Android lovers. Hi everyone, my name is Roman, you're watching Movavi Vlog, your go-to channel for making creative videos. And what are the times we're lucky to witness? It's amazing how casually nowadays anyone can create great content for YouTube. Cameras are getting better, smaller and cheaper, and even a smartphone can become a decent tool when it comes to content making. Especially if you have a brand new smartphone right out of the box. It's powerful, it has a lot of free space, apps are running fast, all in all, a great helper for a YouTube creator. But have you ever wondered why only after a couple of months a new phone is not so fast and reliable anymore? Today we are going to talk about how to tame your Android phone and make it a great helper in filming, editing and other things related to making content for your YouTube channel. And we are going to do it my favorite way – digital minimalism. I have prepared a whole list of Android apps that I recommend removing from your phone. Some of them are just unnecessary just sitting there in your phone and taking up the space. And some are even dangerous, potentially threatening your personal data and phone security. Shall we get started? Number 1. It's quite common for Android phones to come up with pre-installed browsers. These can be browsers from the manufacturer of the phone, this is a way for them to promote their brand and new products. Or they can be simply browsers from little-known developers who have paid the phone manufacturer to pre-install their browser. In other words, you didn't choose these browsers yourself based on ratings, reviews or recommendations from friends. They were chosen for you and pre-installed on your phone. In most cases, these browsers are not very convenient or fast. And also, in such little-known browsers, there are often ads and bookmarks with advertising websites, which you hardly need. But the main disadvantage is security. These browsers lack protection from data interception. Unlike well-known and trusted browsers like Google Chrome, Opera or Firefox, they are light, they are fast, no annoying ads and high security level. So I don't see any reasons why not to stick with one of the trusted browsers, save your Android phone resources and feel safe about your data when surfing the web. Before we proceed to number 2 in my top list of apps to delete, let me share some good news brought to you by Movavi. Trust me, it's worth your attention. Movavi Space Age sale is prolonged until May 12th, and that means you have extra few days to discover a lot of hot deals that include best-selling Movavi apps and effects. The larger the bundle, the greater the discount. For example, you can check out a special offer that includes Movavi Video Editor Plus and Super Intro Bundle at a 30% discount. Movavi Video Editor Plus is the perfect software to bring your creative ideas to life and share them with the world. Every tool is right where you would expect it to be, so even if you have never tried to edit videos before, it will take you no more than 20 minutes to master this video editor and start editing like a pro. And with the help of Super Intro Bundle, which includes VHS Intro Pack, TV Shows Intro Pack and Stylish Vlog Intro Pack, you can add more editable intros to your built-in media collection. I'm gonna leave a discount link in the description, where you can also find an another link to a page with the all special offers brought to you by Movavi. Enjoy shopping! Going back to the top list of Android apps, it's better to delete immediately. There's a certain type of Android apps I call memory boosters – applications that promise to increase the amount of RAM on your device. Guys, this is ridiculous. As you can guess yourself, your phone won't get more RAM than it had initially by using those apps. What those so-called memory boosters can actually do is clear the cache temporarily, and your Android device can do it on its own. The only real outcome those apps can bring won't make you happy. They themselves gladly use the resources of your phone and, as a result, slow it down at some degree. 
How ironic. Number three in the list. So-called optimizers might sound cool, but not all of them are really. Those apps are supposed to take care of your phone by cleaning your cache and deleting other apps you don't use too often. That is so outdated now in 2021. Most modern Android phones come up with this feature already built in, so these so-called optimizers are pretty much useless. Instead of optimizing, they're trying to do the job your phone has already done, at the same time draining the battery life. So practically, these kind of app hardly makes your Android device faster, they just slow it down. And don't forget the marvelous as they bring. Number four, lie detector apps. I have no idea why these apps are still popular, but just in case you don't know, these apps are only for fun, they are not real. Unless your device has biometric sensors that are actually reading the subtle changes in heart rate, body temperature, and facial expressions of the person you are questioning, a lie detector in your phone is no more than a toy, like a crystal ball. But like any other app of this type, they are no good for the battery. Plus, they might have access to your personal data and contacts, which is absolutely unnecessary. So if you've had enough fun with a fake lie detector, and of course, if you notice suspicious activity or access request, delete it. Coming up next, antivirus apps from unknown developers. You gotta be very careful careful with dozens of antiviruses you come across on Google Play. Some of them are just weaker, they're easier to break for hackers than well-known antiviruses with a big history. Which is also a big deal, cause they create a dangerous illusion that your phone is secured. But what is more dreadful, some of those suspicious antivirus apps might be fake antivirus apps built exactly by hackers, like the infamous Lopi app. In this awful case, the antivirus app itself can start to steal data from a phone, aggressively display ads, redirect the users to malicious web resources, automatically download harmful files, even send and delete text messages, and subscribe a user to various pay-for-services. Jeez. Also, this kind of app might make you believe that genuine antivirus apps are the real danger to your phone and demand that you delete them. And if you think those are all the unpleasant consequences, no. All this hidden activity can lead to overusing your Android device resources, memory, and even overheating your phone and damaging the battery and the device itself. So guys, I guess you can now see yourself enough reasons to check it twice if you decide to go for a not so well-known antivirus app. And if you have any doubts, just stick with Dr. Webb, Avast, ESAT, Kaspersky, and other trustful software brands. Number six in the list, not so sure how to call this class of apps shortly. You've probably come across those apps on Google Play many times. Apps that promise to extend battery life or make a device charge faster. Should one trust those promises? Sorry, but no. As far as I know, today in 2021, there are no proofs that the speed of a gadget charging can be somehow increased by means of an application. Same with the battery life. Apps can hardly do anything to help your phone's battery work more efficiently. What they certainly can do is show you tons of ads using your phone's RAM and internet traffic for nothing. Now let me continue with my list. Number seven would be audio players. Special apps that let you listen to the music saved on your Android device. However, even though the music files are saved, those apps themselves consume tons of data since they are usually free, which means full of annoying ads. Also, they may cause a significant drain of your battery. After all, I think today in 2021 those apps are just useless in 99% of the cases, cause either streaming services apps or built-in Android features can play music for you and be safer, faster, and more careful to your phone's resources. Next type of apps I suggest you avoid are defragmentation apps that used to be popular, but today to most users it's obvious that those apps are useless. Software that defragment might be useful on computers 
computers, but not on mobile devices, cause they don't have a hard drive for this kind of software to defragment. Apps like that can only analyze how much space certain programs take up, but your Android phone can do it on its own. Coming straight to number nine, Wi-Fi apps. Guys, you gotta be careful with those. They may promise to provide you with Wi-Fi hotspots, speed boosters and analyzers, public Wi-Fi security features, even free Wi-Fi keys, but don't buy it easily. Since there are tons of new apps being created every single day, even Google can check the safety of every app you come across. So if you don't want suspicious apps to get access to your data instead of providing you with free and rugged speed Wi-Fi, avoid them by any means. I guess your phone can handle Wi-Fi and that will be awesome. Finally, we have reached number 10 in my list of useless apps that probably waste your phone's resources rather than bring you any value. The weather apps would be to close the top 10. Most Android devices nowadays come with pre-installed weather apps, which are quite good looking and what's more important, trust worthy, cause safety is the case here. Numerous weather apps you see on Google Play are not only useless, the Android built-in forecast features are usually prettier and more accurate, but they also can potentially collect your personal data, including credit card details, and slow your phone down with all these ass and useless weather animations. Okay guys, now your Android device will be safe and fast, and let it be that way always. My name is Roman, thank you so much for watching this episode of Mobile Vlog, and please consider liking this video, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. I will see you very soon, bye bye!